developing the habit of consistent exercise is probably going to give you the biggest return on investment in regards to any habit you form simply because exercising regularly and eating healthy is going to directly influence your lifespan right so it surprises me how so many people don't take it seriously so many people struggle with it and in this video i'm going to give you some practical takeaways some tips that are going to help you make this a part of your life easily first tip i always give people is to ease into it so many people get motivated, they get over the moon, they get excited and they want to start exercising, especially around New Year's time, right? They get this huge surge of energy and they want to go seven days a week, two hours a day and just kill it, crush their goals. Well, here's the problem with that. That commitment level, that amount of enthusiasm is not going to last. It's not consistent. Your motivation would deplete. And what's going to be left behind when it depletes is discipline that's going to ride you through. So if you don't have discipline and you're just riding off motivation, you're just riding off the surge of excitement that you initially get when you're trying to exercise to make it a habit, you're going to inevitably get disappointed when you can no longer stick to that commitment. So ease into it. Don't do two hours every day, six days a week. Try start off with maybe three workouts each week for an hour and 20 minutes or something like that. The next tip I have is to have realistic expectations. People that, you know, get into this whole thing where they want to exercise, they have these unrealistic expectations where they think that they're going to have three chest workouts and they're going to start looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Or they think that they're going to have a few booty workouts, do a few cable kickbacks, and they're going to start looking like Instagram models right well that's not realistic that's not a realistic representation of the world you need to take your time and see this as like a lifelong thing this isn't some three month transformation thing this isn't something you just simply do you get the body and you jet and no longer hit the gym no longer work out this is part of your life you want to make this a habit so have realistic expectations and celebrate the small victories don't get discouraged when you are not at where you think you are or if you are not making the progress you think you should be making celebrate the small victories and it's all about consistency they will add up in a while they'll add up in the long run the small victories add up and make huge wins okay next tip is to track your progress when you can see the results of your hard labor when you can see that what you're doing is actually paying off you're gonna be that much more motivated to get back into the gym and put in another hard workout. What discourages people, what makes people quit from gym is not seeing results, right? So make sure when you start off, take progress pictures every couple weeks. Measure your body, measure your arms, measure your legs, your waist, measure your weight. Check how many calories you're burning in cardio workouts every time you do cardio see how much weight you're lifting week by week because what's going to happen is if you stick with it for a couple of months now and you look at your numbers for that month and you refer them back to when you started and you see that there's actually empirical differences there's there's the results right in front of you you're going to be so motivated you're going to stick with it and you're going to get the bug Okay, next tip is to have intrinsic motivation, not extrinsic motivation. So what do I mean by this? Extrinsic motivation could be things such as seeking the validation of other people. So you're going to gym simply to get the body so that you can impress a girl or so that you can impress a guy. Now, initially, this might be a good thing if it actually gets you in the gym, but this fuel is not going to last you because you're going to see that these things are very superficial and they won't last. You want to have intrinsic uh, motivation. You want to be able to self-generate your motivation to go to the gym to improve yourself for you because that's going to last. At the end of the day, you are who you are and you're going to live this life with yourself, right? All these other people that you're trying to impress are not going to always be there. The consistent variable, the constant variable is you. So develop that intrinsic motivation and do it for you. Okay, the last tip I have for you guys is to have a set routine, as in a set schedule for when you're going to be going to the gym and don't compromise on it. As soon as you start compromising, you plant the seed of doubt and it's going to ruin your chances of making this a habit as soon as you break the streak. So what I suggest is to use this trick that Jim Carrey made popular. It's basically you have a calendar of the days that you go to gym 
and what you want to do is make a cross on each one of those days. So very soon a pattern will appear in your calendar and you don't want to break this pattern, you want to keep this going. Don't fall for any kind of rationalizations that your mind will come up with because your mind will come up with some. It might be raining outside you might say to yourself, oh it's raining outside, it's cold, I should stay inside the house where it's warm. No, don't listen to that at all. Stick to the routine. Even if you don't have the chance of going to the gym, still get a workout in at home. If you are alive, if you've got room, if you've got the floor, you can work out. You can do some push-ups, you can do some burpees, you can do some sit-ups, you can find a tree, do some pull-ups. There's always chances to work out. Don't give yourself the excuse because once you give yourself the excuse, it's going to be that much easier to give yourself the excuse the next time. And once you do it the second time, it's going to be pretty much guaranteed that you are going to ruin the habit. So be consistent, be disciplined, develop that grit.